Hey guys, this is Matt Kaur from controlpaint.com and in this principle of design video we're going to talk about scale and proportion. So you can see here in my scene I've got a bad guy. You know he's a bad guy because he's got bat wings. But how big is he? Well, it's hard to tell. And the reason it's hard to tell is because there's no reference objects to compare him against. So let's add in a bit of background. So I know that he is in some way related to the tree. But what if the tree was far away and the bad guy was up close? Well, that would make the bad guy very small. Or maybe the bad guy is way in the distance and the tree is up close. Well, then that'd make him very big. So the first thing you can do is talk about overlapping. So if I have the bad guy in front of the tree, this tells you something about their spatial relations. You can tell that the bad guy is closer to you than the tree. But this still doesn't tell me how big the bad guy is. So now that you know how overlapping can help tell the viewer which is closer, let's really make this bad guy huge. And here's a way to do it. You can see that the orc is standing at the base of a tree, and that gives you a sense of scale. Maybe the orc is six feet tall. Well, then if you repeat an object that he's standing next to, making sure to have it behind the other objects, and then shrink it down, the viewer begins to understand that this is the same tree, but in the distance. We'll do it one more time making sure it's sitting behind the objects, and on and on, just like telephone poles looking down a street. Because the viewer can identify the orc, which is six feet tall, standing next to this one tree object, I've just set up depth and distance inside of this image. So if you were to take this character here and shrink him down, Next to the very furthest tree, he would be very small. Well, that makes our bad guy huge. Does something seem wrong about this orc to you? Does he look a little bit like those bobblehead sports figurines? Well, this shows that proportion is not only one object next to another object. It's also various parts of one complex object. So the size of this head relative to his body matters. You can make a character look extremely tough by shrinking their head down really tiny. So by comparison, their shoulders look huge. They're all of a sudden turned into a tough guy. In a lot of cases, the proportional size relationships between different parts of the face or different limbs on the body will either make or break an image. And sometimes you might want to exaggerate something for the sense of style. I've obviously not made a mistake here. His head is huge by choice. If these are new concepts to you, it's going to take a little while to internalize the ideas. But the goal is to understand proportion and scale to avoid a confusing image like this that makes no sense. When in doubt, make sure there's lots of overlap. So if you want to give this a try for yourself, just download the orcs at the bottom of the page. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for the next video.